Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Proxmox virtual environment on a bare metal server. We'll go step by step. For this video, we'll be setting up the USB drive to configure Proxmox. By end, you'll be ready to create a virtual machine and manage your infrastructure. Why use Proxmox VE? It's an open source virtualization platform that supports both KVM based virtual machines and LXC containers. So for our Kubernetes cluster, we will be using Proxmox VE. Visit the Proxmox website, open a web browser and go to the official web page site and go to the Proxmox virtual environment to download the environment. Uh, look for the latest version. Under the Proxmox V, the latest version is 8.2 ISO installer. Hit the download tab and it should begin. And we're going to use uh, some of the commands for the USB drive to be set and make it bootable. So let's go ahead with disk util list. This is going to list all the available disk, including internal and external. So we could find that forward slash dev dot forward slash dis2 external is the USB drive which we're looking. And we're going to erase that, format that, and make sure it's available for the bootable. So unmount the disk first with a command. So once the unmount is completed safely, move to the next command, which wipes out the complete USB drive and write with zero. So we are cleaning up the disk and making sure it's available for the bootable drive. To make sure any error prevention, make sure you're on the correct disk and use by zeroing out the disk. Okay, this is completed. And we're going to erase and format the USB disk with FAT32 file system and MBR partition screen. So the command, you'll be able to see it on the screen. This is like file system compatibility of FAT32, which can be utilized, supporting for the file system for booting on most of the systems. And we're using MBR formatting, which is the master boot record. Partition format is often needed to bootable drives. So we could be able to see it finished erased on disk two. And then move on to the next command, which is verifying the disk. It's an integrity on USB disk for after formatting. So verify disk forward slash dev forward slash disk two. Okay, uh, I think it's because of some permissions. So we're going to do a disk util list we will to see that it's formatted and able to see the available disk size okay then we can quickly confirm that from the previous command moving on to where the iso file is downloaded into the download folder so i'm going to use the next command which writes the proxmox iso file to the usb drive so the DD command copies the Proxmox ISO, and if option specifies the input file ISO, and off option specifies the USB drive dev forward slash disk two. Yeah, and BS equal to 2M. It's an option, set the block size to 2MB, which increases the efficiency of our write process making it faster than default block size. Okay. Uh, it looks like the resource is busy. Need to check a few things. Uh, it's because unmount of all volume drives. So was well, successful and we should be able to run the command now. Let's rerun the command and wait for the completion. Once the process is completed, the USB drive is ready and should be used to test it. Now the USB you can plug into the server or the PC and boot from it. Make sure to change the boot order in your BIOS. Check out my other video for the BIOS setting and boot from the USB. That's it. You have successfully created a bootable USB drive for Proxmox VE environment. Now you're ready to install the Proxmox on the server or the PC. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe the channel, and let me know in the comments. Thank you.